We're outside the Las Vegas Convention Center for CMIT 2009. It's four days of business and partying rolled into one as we check out the best cars, girls and new products in the world. SEMA 2009 may have been around 25% smaller than last year, but the quality of the product and cars was exceptional. In between all the press conferences, new car unveilings and corporate parties, we tracked down the hottest cars at SEMA for you to check out. While the new Camaro, 2010 Mustang and Dodge Challenger were the stars for the V8 muscle car industry, the R35 Nissan GTR, Hyundai Genesis Coupe and Mitsubishi Evo 10 were the hero cars for the performance import industry. For our D-Sport booth, we featured two of the toughest cars at the show. Vegas local Todd Allen lent us his 693 wheel horsepower D-Sport cover car Evo along with his 1300 wheel horsepower Supra. GTRs could be found throughout every hall of SEMA some sporting just cosmetic upgrades, while others looked to be more serious. Brian Locke had his stripped out Time Attack R35 on display, while the Stillen Targa Newfoundland spec GTR was also there. We also found some wide body GTRs, including this one covered in carbon fibre. Over on the Hyundai stand, Gretti's Genesis Coupe demo car was sporting a bunch of new parts, including a 20G turbo kit, inlet manifold and front mount intercooler kit. With big brakes, aftermarket wheels, body kit and graphics, this coupe turned out to be one of the more modified examples at the show. Of course, nothing could compete with the Genesis from RMR. Reese Mad Skills Millen put together this Frankenstein Genesis supercar sporting a V8 in the back. That's right, a totally custom built, eight throttle bodied mid-engine Genesis clad with carbon fibre and top-notch engineering. This is how you build a custom car. Even better is that it's a complete street car as opposed to a fabricated race car. As usual, Scion had some of the craziest cars at SEMA on their stand. Designcraft built this XD rally car prototype and the 5-axis XB brought back plenty of old-school Japanese flavour. While critics thought Mitsubishi had gone soft with the Evo 10, enthusiasts were proving that this platform can be built into a serious performer. Our 2010 car of the year, the Nissan 370Z, was also well represented at the show. We found quite a few modified examples, including this one on the Enios oil booth. While Subaru's Wagon STI seems to have lost a bit of its mojo and appeal to the tuning community, a few have proven its performance potential with cars like Dusty's STI and on Subaru's stand, Ken Block and Travis Pastrana were helping to elevate the Subaru's brand image to cool. Block's Jim Carner car along with Pastrana's rally car pulled plenty of crowds, as did Ken's wild STI turned snowmobile with a matching sled. Crazy stuff. There was also plenty of drift and time attack cars scattered around the show. The Sierra Sierra Enterprises Evo was centre stage on the Cosworth stand and K&N debuted their new G35 time attack machine. Hey! The BMI Quadrotor RX8 also drew plenty of attention, especially when they started it up to leave the show on Friday afternoon.
Chris Forsberg's 2009 championship winning car was on the Max's tyre stand, Tanner Faust Scion was on the AEM stand, and Falcon Tyres had some of their team's cars on display. At Hancock's press conference, it was announced that Robbie Nishida would soon be moving into an R35 GTR drift car, built by Dynamic Autosports. We can't wait to see the finished product. Conrad Grunewald also joins the Hancock team for 2010 behind the wheel of a new Camaro. It may not be an import, but we can't help but mention that Vaughan Gittin Jr. now has his own special edition Mustang. The Formula D press conference also confirmed many more new cars in the pipeline for 2010, which is set to be an even bigger year for drifting. While D-Sport doesn't focus on the European exotics, there were still plenty of top quality modified Lambos, Porsches and Ferraris at SEMA. But Pirelli may have stolen the show with an all-carbon Pagani Zonda on their stand. Don't get excited, I said Zonda, not Honda. Now if you want to attract people to your stand, there are three options. Cars, girls or celebrities. Magnaflow focused on celebrities by having Mario Andretti and Chip Foos in their booth. Now every stand that you go to seems to get the biggest line of people waiting to get an autograph at this show. Do you get much of a chance to actually get a really close look at the cars while you're here? Well, not during the show. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy signing autographs and, and you know, it's very heartwarming to know that the people are such great fans of what we build at Foos Design and also the, the television show over on as well as rides. And, you know, actually, I'll, I'll tell you, we're, we're filming a new show right now for Discovery. It's called Ultimate Car Build-Off. I'm not a designer or a builder on that show, but I'm a judge. It'll start airing in January. I can't wait to have that one coming out. The parts were great, and from the show, I started using all those products at Foos Design, and it was a natural. I came in, you know, and I endorsed a product that, only a product that I'm proud to be you know, associated with, and I'm very proud to be with Magnum. Subaru took care of the younger generation by bringing out motocross and rally champion Travis Pastrana and DC Shoes founder and now internet driving sensation Ken Block. Since we've covered the cars and the stars, you know what comes next. <laughs>